What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Felsbeerne uh, Let's Play episode. What is this? Number five, uh, allegedly, as long as I'm not a, a screw up today. Anyway, uh, guys, as you know, when we were harvesting and after the harvest between the last video and this video, I did finish the baling with our little little, little, little case tractor and our coon baler with the uh, auto wrapper, although we're doing, you know, straw so it doesn't necessarily wrap of course but it is what it is but i swear we're gonna jump in this thing we're gonna get rolling here in a second i i kind of didn't think i left so much footage in the, in the, in the video but that's okay right <laughs> it's all good right maybe just maybe come on any day now john uh but anyway guys so this is a high speed video or allegedly it's a high speed video <laughs> uh it will be here in a second i swear we're going to get in the uh, John Deere R6M, and we're going to pick up bales. That's what we're going to do. So I do want to apologize. I've kind of missed a couple days uploading. Uh, in fact, this video is going to be like way late in the day, but I'm still going to put it out. I'm making this voiceover current day. Like current, current day. All right, how long did I stand here? Seriously. There we go. I think I, oh, there we go. All right, yay. <laughs> That was way too long. <laughs> oh, man. So I have sped this video up a little bit um, to make this video around a half hour long. And it was only about 45 minutes or so. So I really haven't sped it up too much. But uh, definitely have sped this footage up, of course. I uh, didn't want to go too crazy because I'm sure it'd be like vomit inducing if it was too fast. But hey, a little bit of a high speed's better than no high speed rat <laughs> or something. But, uh, any hoozles, um, like I was saying, I've kind of missed a couple days uploading to YouTube here. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my mom was back in the hospital. And, well, hate to tell y'all, when uh, she goes in the hospital or, or something's going on with her, YouTube is secondary. YouTube and Twitch, I should say. Um, the whole Puma Plow thing is very secondary when it comes to, uh, I would say all family, but eh, some of the family. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to mom, like, needing help, help and health and, you know, being in a hospital and stuff, it, it comes first. You know, it's just the way it is. So, there is that. But, uh, all is good. Um, as of making this voiceover, she came home, uh, two days ago, I guess. And I've been kind of slacking since then, kind of a little bit, as far as, like, you know, making this voiceover. Because I've known for a while that I need to do this, but it's okay, you know. I needed a mental break, too, because, you know, obviously it's right after Christmas. Um, I, Christmas is just not what it used to be. Um, I, I like Christmas, don't get me wrong. I mean, you guys know I do all the lights and stuff, but actual, like, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I kind of just, I don't like. I don't like, I, I don't know, I, I'm one of those people, and, and, you know, there's a lot of people that kind of struggle with Christmas, and I'm definitely one of those people. Um, Christmas Eve is, was, well, especially this year, I was in the emergency room with, with mom, but, you know, Christmas Eves, uh, when I was a kid were fantastic. They were awesome. We used to go to grandma's house and all the aunts and uncles and cousins on my mom's side were, were all there. My grandma lived in this little, little condo and all of us would cram in her little living room at her condo and, and just have a really good time. And we don't have that anymore. Obviously grandma's been gone almost six years now. Um, she had stopped living in the condo a few years before that and moved in with her one son, but that's another story for another day. And uh, it's just, you know, those childhood memories, obviously you can't, which, you know, you, you do need to evolve and kind of let those things go, but it just kind of sucks that uh, you can't recreate those childhood memories anymore. And uh, it is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, obviously we try to make the best out of Christmas and and now that there's some nieces and nephews around that, uh, you know, like my nephew that's a one, he is just awesome just to spend time around him and watch him play and learn, and it's it's very entertaining. So, uh, but yeah, the Christmas was definitely very different this year because, like I said, Christmas Eve, um, my mom, dad, and I basically, I was I was the only kid at the emergency room with them, and, and when they got mom checked in upstairs at the hospital and stuff, but... It was, a, it was a different way to spend Christmas Eve, that's for sure. But uh, it's all good. 
and uh, looking forward to New Year's Eve, and lo I'm really looking forward to 2019. I don't know. I'm ready to be done with 2018. There's been so much uh, bad, bad and negative, and and not just in my life, just in kind of in general. It seems like that uh, I'm just kind of done, done with 2018, and really looking forward to 19. I'm not necessarily gonna make like a bunch of New Year's resolutions because I don't really do that. And if you do, it's like, I want to lose weight. And then, shocker, it never happens. Because you don't change anything. You know, that kind of stuff. Or, I'm going to be the best person ever. Yeah, no, you're not. You're still going to be that terrible human being that you always have been. <laughs> Just like that. You know, like, New Year's resolutions are kind of crazy to me. But I'm looking forward to being done with with 2018. I mean, personally, personal life here, like, real life just been awful with everything with mom and you know it all started in 2018 so it's it's been it's been a year but uh, I'm looking forward to 19 and and there is that but anyway uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video guys is um, um, I might be well there's a couple things I want to talk about I might be bringing in the Ursus round bale stacker the the mod technically it's a mod but yes it's made by giants so is it really a mod it, it is a mod because it's in the mod hub but I might have to bring that in for doing these round bales. Um, I don't know how many more times I'll do straw. Probably not that many. But my haylage, my haylage, I plan on doing some of that anyway. Not not as crazy as like Welker Farms on Farm Sim uh, 17 there. But, you know, haylage can make a lot of money. So there's that. But, uh, yeah, we might have to bring in the Ursus round bale stacker. I'm just saying. Loading this trailer, it's fine. Once. Maybe twice. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, as of right now, I do have a couple more episodes recorded. And speaking of those future episodes, I do want to say that uh, in the, the next couple episodes, the audio of me talking sounds like garbage. Okay, getting this new computer set up has been a bit of a process, I'm not going to lie. And come to find out my audio in the computer itself on Windows, not in my OBS, not in, um, uh, what's this program called? Audacity. That's what I'm using to record my talking right now. Um, not in there, not in OBS. In Windows 10 itself was set on like the lowest quality FM radio. Not even FM, AM radio. You know, where the old folks go to talk, that kind of thing. Which, I mean, I listen to AM radio, so I can say that, right? I'm old. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it was set on, like, super, super low quality. Um, like, just, it was terrible. So I've changed it, obviously, kind of to what the old computer was. At least I think it was. I haven't actually gone on the old one to look. But uh, hopefully, hopefully it's a lot better sounding now. But uh, you never know, right? <laughs> you never know. I mean, it sounded terrible. So you'll hear it in the next couple of videos because they're already, already recorded and they're actually ready to go. I think they're rendered and everything and I just kind of spaced out on this particular video. But it is what it is. It's all good. And uh, yeah, so just, just bear with me on the audio in the next couple because uh, yeah, there was like a week and a half there where I didn't know what was wrong with my computer. So, uh, you know, getting this new computer going has been a bit of a struggle, but... It's okay at the same time. Like, it's not... It's not been that bad, I guess. It's not been too bad at all. But what I will say is the Ursus Brown Bell <laughs> stacker. I know you can only haul it eight or six or whatever, but my goodness, it would be nice right now. <laughs> it would be so nice. It would be so nice. But this is kind of fun. You know, this is what I wanted out of my first Let's Play Kind of like over on my stream map on uh, Ravenport. You know, we just I want to play the game with the in-game equipment. At least for a little bit before I go mods. I mean, to me, it's still too early to be like, hey, we need OP modded combines that go really fast and, and have capacity and stuff. It's like, it's a little early for me uh, to be doing that kind of stuff. But I, I understand why people want that stuff. Don't get me wrong. You know, and it's totally fine. So, it's kind of a, kind of a whole thing. But it's all good either way. And, uh, I don't know. It's just a little too early for me to jump into all the mods. 
I do want to start up my mod series again called uh, uh, Mod Times with John. I would definitely like to start that up again because that was a, a very popular series for me. And um, I would like to start that up again, but I, I need to get through December and get mom healthy again and or healthy or I mean, she's never she's never going to fully recover. You know, she's always going to be on dialysis, but, um, you know, we just need to get her kind of stronger and clear up some of the issues that she has going on right now. So I have some more free time because I've been very busy taking care of her and stuff like that. And, and I'm not going to lie, the, the mental toll here lately has been very, very heavy on me. Um, you know, yesterday... <laughs> yesterday I talked about on the stream anyway that I was like yeah I just laid in the recliner all day and didn't do anything it's like yeah because I didn't couldn't get up and do anything because I was depressed but you know that's okay I, 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 I deal with it you know like I'm, I'm I don't know I don't know some days you just feel down right <laughs> and it's okay I guess I don't know I've never sought like real help for this and, and it's not something that's that bad like I don't let it rule my life if that makes sense but I will say occasionally in the in the past year I've learned what depression is let me put it that way but uh that's okay that's like the realest thing I've, I think I've ever said I, I don't like talking about this stuff but um you know I'm I'm an open book I don't have anything to hide but um oh god oh these bales these bales are oh oh no I forgot about this when I was <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, let's put it in the other way. That'll work, right? Or not. Hey, let's just not put it in at all. That'll work even better, right? Yeah, that's the whole... Mm. It was going so well. <laughs> it was going so well. What happened? Uh, anyway. But don't get me wrong, guys. I'm I'm still the happy, cheerful John that I... Uh, that you guys know. But from, from time to time, you know... It, it happens, right? It happens. <laughs> Just one of those days where it's like, hmm, I don't see myself doing absolutely anything today. All right, that's cool. I don't know. I definitely have had some of those days here lately, so. It is what it is. And these bales, oh boy. Interesting, interesting, right? <laughs> Hence why round bale stacker versus round bale thing might be a thing <laughs> I don't know I was having fits this day can you tell <laughs> the problem is I was actually trying to be legit and like fill that trailer up probably should put in about half as many bales that are actually in there would be uh, would probably be better but that's okay so I have to look on the map because I don't actually know well, I was checking my price too but price, whatever. I was looking on the map. I'm like, I don't actually know where I'm going because I don't know this map yet. So I'm learning. I'm learning. I've, you know, I've played what seven or eight episodes now. I need to make some more today. Maybe I'll work on that after this. Uh, no, I can't. I got to render this. Any hoozles, any hoozles. I digress. It is extremely windy here, by the way. I know I'm like all over the place in this video. But I could lose my power at any time. It is that windy here. My poor Christmas display is just getting beat up out there right now. I should probably have taken some of the stuff down or some of the stuff in, but I'm I'm a believer of, uh, hey, just leave it out there. It'll be okay. Because <laughs> usually it is. So here we go, guys, selling bales. Selling bales at the barn for the first time. Very nice, right? Recouping some of that money. That we've spent on Baylor and stuff. In fact, how much does that say? 11000 That's not bad for one load. I mean, it's not great for straw, but... Or for straw, I don't think it's that bad. I don't know. That's okay. I mean, it was a lot of work <laughs> picking these bales up, but... It's all good. <laughs> Either way, right? Not a big deal. It's not far to run from our uh, farm, so it's not like it's that big of a deal to uh to do this so yeah so now we go back for load number two <laughs> maybe oh i think i was switching youtube videos right there i was watching like podcasts and stuff trying to catch up while i was recording this 
and oh you can totally hear that car going down the street um <laughs> it was a, like a loud truck um i was watching podcasts and stuff trying to catch back up i'm so far behind on youtube there's there's a channel that i used to watch literally every single day actually there's there's a few channels i used to watch every day um two of them were vlogs and one of them was like a news thing i haven't watched some of that stuff since july but it's like i really want to watch them and i look at their thumbnails every day and i'm like oh i should watch that video and then i don't <laughs> I don't know. You guys have any channels like that? I mean, besides mine? Where you're just like, oh, I should. No, I'm not. <laughs> There's one vlog I, I will catch up on. I, I enjoy those people in their vlog. But, you know, that's okay. By the way, so this totally random randomness here. Uh, when I first told, because, like, I watched vlogs for a while before I, like, told anybody about them. Because it's kind of weird watching a vlog. Like, vlogs are kind of weird if you think about, like, hey, I'm just going to take a camera in my house and show you what I'm doing every day. Like, that's weird. But it's entertaining at the same time. It's, like, it's just the way it is these days. Like, vlogs are an accepted thing on the internet. Like, it's just, it's fine. No, it's totally normal. But when I first started watching vlogs, like, we're talking, well, well before I started YouTube, like well before I started YouTube, a couple of years probably. And uh, the first person I told was one of my brothers. <laughs> one of my brothers, you guys don't know him or anything. It's not, not who you guys might be thinking. But he's like, why would you watch that? <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean why would I watch that? Why not? It's it's cool. It's, it's you know, seeing somebody else's life, blah, 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 blah. And why would you watch that? You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of quit talking about vlogs for a long time. I never told anybody because I'm like, should I be embarrassed? No, I shouldn't be embarrassed. It's cool. Tons of people watch. But then I was like, well, it is kind of weird, but I don't care. <laughs> it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. But yeah, he was like, why? What? It's like, okay, old man, calm down, you know? It's kind of like even like, um, like, 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 how many times can I say, like, uh, when we first turned on face cams for live streaming, it, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, there I go again with like, it was one of those things where it was kind of strange turning that camera on and knowing that people could see me. It was very strange. <laughs> In fact, I was on board with it, but the other person at the time was not really on board with it. But uh, it was just, it was very interesting to uh, turn on those cameras for the first time and be like, hey, this is me. I'm fat and have a beard. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was really, it was really a strange thing. And it's still kind of weird sometimes when people are like nitpicking. They're like, oh, a nice hat or. I mean, which that's not nitpicking, but you know, when, when people say something, it's like, oh yeah, you can see me pick my nose. I better not do that while I'm streaming. <laughs> you know, it's like, you have to kind of remember that you're on camera and you can't do that kind of stuff. I mean, I guess you could, but you're going to like gross people out. I don't want to be known as the guy on the internet that picks his nose on the stream. Like, that's weird. I do that in the privacy of my own time, you know, like, who? no, I'm keep playing. Well, not really, but you know, it's just, it's, it's still strange sometimes looking over at OBS and be like, Hey, they could see me <laughs> just like that too. Just like that. But, uh, it was, it was a internal debate that we had in Puma plow for a while. Like, okay, are we really comfortable? Are we really going to turn on these cameras? Cause we had them, we had them for a couple months, I would say. Or at least a couple of weeks. We had them hooked up, turned on in OBS. All I had to do was like flip a switch and or, or click a checkbox actually at the time in OBS and they would have shown up for months on stream. We saved it for a New Year's Eve stream and it was kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. But uh, man, I don't know. It was interesting. It was very interesting turning those cameras on for the first time. And actually going back even farther when we made our first video where we actually showed us it was the ice bucket challenge video where we where we took our 995 at the farm and we filled up the loader bucket with, well, we had like 20, 
20 pounds of ice, I want to say, or 40 pounds of ice or something. And then we filled it up with the well water from the farm. And by the course, by the time we actually went to dump the ice on us, all the well water was gone. But the uh, water was still freezing cold because that well water is like 60, 55, 60, so 65 degrees, I guess, or whatever. It comes from 28 feet straight out of the ground and it's cold. <laughs> it's really, and of course, it was like probably 95 to 100 that day. Like it was nice and warm, of course. And uh, that cold water just felt even colder because it was so warm. But uh, it's all good. It's all good. Here I go trying to be legit again, by the way, putting all these bales in this trailer. It's just not worth it. Although probably that turn didn't... Well, actually it wasn't that bad. I thought bales were going to slide, but I guess not. But, uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a debate there for a while. It's like, do we really want to show us? <laughs> like... Uh, and then, you know, like the on the farm series, I still, I still, and which I know I haven't made one of those lately, but they will be returning come, come spring, hopefully when we're actually down at the farm and when there's stuff to do, uh, right now between the holidays and taking care of mom, we just, we haven't been to farm in like a week and a half or something, two weeks. But, uh, anyway, when we do get down there, it's like, Hey, we don't have any time to film. <laughs> so we will, and I might be getting a new toy for uh, the On the Farm series. And I might be getting... I need to get, like, a new tablet or a phone. Yes, I said phone. Uh, to fly my drone again, because basically we've decided that... Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, the YouTube crowd. But I actually sent my drone to one of the people on stream, uh, the Stowe. Because he, he tinkers with drones and RCs and stuff, and... If he used his, like, old tablet, that's kind of around the time that my tablet, like, was made, uh, he had the same problem. But if he used his, like, new phone, or his new tablet, I think it was, or whatever, it uh, it worked completely fine. So, I think it's just a f tablet issue for me. And uh, I either need to get a new tablet or a phone. And I think, honestly, at this point, I would rather put my money into a phone than a new tablet. Because my tablet's fine for everything but the drone. Like, I use my tablet, I, I would probably way too much in a day. I mean, between Instagram and watching YouTube. I do watch some YouTube on there. Um, that kind of stuff. I, I I use my tablet way too much. But, actually, speaking of that, where is my tablet? It's in the house. Oh, no, I don't have my tablet. i got to stop this voiceover right now. Go get my tablet. I'll be right back. I'm kidding. I'll get it after this. Um... <laughs> Actually, my phone's in there and the ringer's on. And my mother's sleeping, so I need to get my phone out of there more than my tablet. But I think at this point, I'd rather have a smartphone than a new tablet. Because a smartphone I can take everywhere with me. And, like, be able to live stream from the farm. You know? Like, I think that would be fun. Kind of do, like, a little mini on-the-farm live update kind of thing. Like... Those days when I don't have video, you know, like on a Sunday, go down there for, you know, live stream for 15, 20 minutes, ask, you know, answer some questions and just hang out more than anything. Just hang out with you guys. I think that would be kind of fun. But um, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into the debate of what phone because I've already basically have my mind made up of what I would get if I were to go get a new phone right now today what I would get and it's going to disappoint about 90% of you guys <laughs> I want this new flip phone no I'm kidding um, <laughs> no I want and, and like I said I know it's going to disappoint some of you guys and you guys are at least some of you guys are probably more of the uh, Apple fan side which is great it's fine it's all good we can still be friends I just, I don't want any Apple products. I, it's a personal thing. Not really, but you know. By the way, much better load of bales here. It's a second, second load. Just saying. A little bit better anyway. <laughs> At least they're all kind of where they should be, right? Kind of. Not really. But, uh, yeah. So, I, I one of the Samsungs. Like the 9, 9 Plus. Somewhere in there. I kind of want to get the Plus one. The Plus phone because of the drone. Like, regular-wise, I don't need the Plus. I don't need the bigger phone. But for flying the drone, I think the uh, 
the plus would be nice. So, you know, our, if I was going to go Apple, I'd get whatever the bigger Apple is, the whatever plus over there too, or whatever it's called. I don't even know, but probably going to go with a Samsung like nine or something. I don't know yet, but it's definitely going to be Samsung. I'm a Samsung fanboy. I'm not going to lie. You know, a lot of you guys are probably Apple fanboys, but I am a Samsung fanboy. Uh, it all started for me with my monitors that I have. 27-inch LED Samsung monitors. I love these things. I look at them all day long, and they're fantastic. Um, then when I got my tablet, it just so happened to work out that I got a Samsung tablet. Love my Samsung tablet. So it just kind of makes sense, right? It just kind of makes sense for me. I mean, I, I have the tablet. I know they're like OS and stuff, kind of. I mean, I'm sure it's changed at least a little bit from like my phone or my tablet to a new phone. But I don't know. If I was going to go do it today, that's what it would be. Um, I will do it one of these days, I swear. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> I've been saying that for like three years. <laughs> oh, goodness. The problem in the last year or so is obviously you guys know my mother has been very sick. I'm on a family plan with my mother, my brother, and, and myself. And mom is the primary, so realistically nothing can happen unless she's there. Um, unless dad walks in maybe with like the power of attorney and says, hey, she's not capable of doing this. I have power of attorney. Let's get this deal done. But I don't know. And it's just a time thing because we're all kind of busy right now. Not going to lie. And, you know, the other thing is, my flip phone works just fine for what I use it for, which is making phone calls. Can you believe that? What are those things called phone calls? You, children probably don't even know anymore. They just get on their Insta tweeters and, and their Instagram giggles and, you know, all the, all the, the fast Twitters and stuff, you know, I don't know. And their and their snap, snap books. Isn't that a thing? Snap book. I'm not sure. <laughs> and their pew die pie or whatever you know like I, I don't even know what these kids do these days but load three by the way is going to be a messy load because there's not as many <laughs> there's not as many but you know it's all good it's all good all right so like i was saying guys don't forget about the uh, bad audio in the next couple of videos bear with me on that don't leave a million comments saying hey your audio sucks i know I know hopefully this video here sounds like you know my videos have in the past at least that's the hope <laughs> if not then I'll have to do some more tweaking but uh, hopefully it sounds okay so I would tell you what we're gonna do in the next video but I 100% have forgotten since then what we actually do because that's already recorded um, totally have forgotten what what I've done probably planting if I if I'm gonna guess planting maybe hauling i don't actually know tune in for the next one whenever i put it out i don't know my schedule is so messed up right now guys i'm i do apologize for that by the way but uh it is what it is right now because of everything going on here at the house so yeah so load three going in guys it's a partial load but still we made it a little bit of money i mean straw is a byproduct straw is free it doesn't cost us anything we didn't buy anything for the straw except for the bale fork uh, we had everything else because we're going to do haylage. So it, it's like, hey, we might as well bail this up and sell it and make at least a few bucks. I mean, it makes sense to me. I don't know. Not 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 everything I do uh, makes sense to people, but hey, it's free. Now, of course, if we had like course play and stuff, it'd be a lot better because we could bail or pick it up loose and run it in although you don't make as much money if you take it in loose by the way no collision camera mod would be a great thing i'm just throwing that out there <laughs> someday someday we'll add it i know it's out i know it's out but someday we will add it but guys with that i think i'm going to go ahead and say thank you all so much for watching uh thank you guys for understanding that i had to take a couple days off i thought i was going to have to take much more off but she came home like 24 hours after she went into the hospital so that was a lot nicer of, um, of you know, than what it could have been because we were assuming at least a couple days is what the ER doctor kind of told us. So, yeah, the fact that she was in like 24 hours was uh, was okay. So, with that, guys, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, 
And as always, toodles.